nice day right now it's uh, a little slight breeze uh, cooled down overnight uh, very uh, nice weather here it's probably been a couple weeks since we've had a significant rain in this area it's important that we get a rain here uh, again uh, soon if we can we've got subsoil moisture which will help we've had some rains in June that will help carry us through for a time for a time and so we uh, will need another rain. This uh, crop is really, uh, has done well now, really catching up. These are 15 inch rows, so they're uh, covering the row now. Uh, one thing we're gonna be looking at is how we move through this week. And we'll be, uh, soon we'll be getting into the actual pod starting to set. Uh, that's kind of where we're at right now. But we can take a look at the soil. If we get down here, you know, it's kind of dry on top soil, but you look down here, these beans are still jointing very close. That's a good thing. Actually, that's a good thing. Beans don't have to get tall uh, to have a good yield, uh, yield. So if they joint close and they set a lot of pods, you're gonna have some of your best yields, in fact. We'll lay this plant over and we'll take a look at it. In fact, there is a pod right there that has started down in the very lower end of the plant. It's an important time. We're in a time frame when uh, we're forming the pods. Our, our goal now is not, not to lose an abort pod. A lot of that has to do with the weather and stress that it, the plant will go through. The more pods we can keep, of course, the better opportunity you have to uh, fill those with actual beans. We still have some cupping of these uh, bean leaves, but the continued showing of this, I believe it's a, uh, I think it's a reaction from the extend product that was sprayed there's a deadline to get that sprayed around June 20th because of the rainfall we had. Much of that was sprayed in uh, a few days period. This is happening all over. It's not just in my field. A lot of people have uh, guessed that there was so much in the atmosphere that it's caused a reaction in all the beans. That cupping is not natural. It's not a, a problem from the chemicals that I spray. There's a product out there that can cause that. We'll just have to see how that affects the yield too. I don't think it will, but you just don't like to see this cupping. Another thing we'll be doing here, we'll be spraying fungicide. When we spray our, spray our fungicide, we'll probably put down some insecticide. Insecticide. 